Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia, starting out on this Tuesday morning with a scripture reading from Acts chapter 8, verse 14 through 25. Now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to them. The two went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet the Spirit had not come upon any of them, they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Now when Simon saw that the Spirit was given through the laying on one of the apostles' hands, he offered them money, saying, Give me also this power, so that anyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit. But Peter said to him, May your silver perish with you, because you thought you could obtain God's gift with money. You have no part or share in this, for your heart is not right before God. Repent, therefore, of this wickedness of yours, and pray to the Lord that, if possible, the intent of your heart may be forgiven you. For I see that you are in the gall of bitterness and the chains of wickedness. Simon answered, Pray for me to the Lord that nothing of what you have said may happen to me. Now after Peter and John had testified and spoken, the word of the Lord, they returned to Jerusalem, proclaiming the good news to many villages of the Samaritans. And that is our reading this morning from Acts. If you will, please join me now for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Lord, we are here today with open hands and an open heart, ready to depend on you to help us through the day and all it will bring our way. Help us to come to you for guidance, strength, provision, and protection. As we face tough choices and hard situations, help us remember our belovedness. Help us remember that we are your child and your representative to the world around us. Help us live today in a way that brings honor to your holy name. For these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. Hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday today.